So I've done a ton of videos on my channel, but I've never shown you guys my linen closet and that's because I kind of don't have one, but I do. You'll see in a minute. And I'll also be sharing with you guys for the first time ever my utility closet slash pantry slash cleaning supplies closet. Again, just keep watching, you'll see what I'm talking about. This video is part of the Mega Motivation collaboration with Robin and Denise and several other YouTubers who are also going to show you how they organize their linen closet, craft room, utilities, and things like that. So make sure you check out the playlist link down below. And if you're new here, welcome. I make videos all about simple living and decluttering. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button down below. All right, we're gonna take a few steps back because this is where my linen closet is. So my linen closet sits under my turtle tank with my two turtles. Yes, their water is very dirty. I have not had time to clean them, but I will. This I got from Ikea many years ago when we moved into this apartment. So I've been living in this apartment for six, seven years. I lost track of time, but anyways, this apartment is small and it doesn't come with a linen closet. So we basically right away realized that we have nowhere to put all of our towels and linens and things like that. So we ended up buying this little unit from Ikea and it's worked out great for us. Although sometimes we wish we had something a little bit bigger, we have made it work. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is just a general overview of what it looks like. It's not that tall. It comes up to like my waist kind of. Say hi to Squirtle. And there's Yoshi in the back. Anyways, here's my linen closet. So this is what we have. So in this basket up here on the top left, I basically keep just face towels and hand towels that go in our bathroom. Some of them go into the kitchen for us to dry our hands. And it's kind of not really organized right now, but they all go in here. This basket I thrifted from Goodwill and it's worked great for our towels. And then here are our towels. We have a couple in here, a couple in the bathroom that we're currently using. We have currently one blanket here, but it's usually all the way full, like up to here. Right now, it's been very cold, so we are currently using all of our blankets. But this is where our throw blankets all go. And then underneath that, on this left side, we keep our beach towels and Callie's towel which is my dog. And on this side, we have a couple of Snuggies and a blanket. This second shelf, we don't frequently use as much as this one, so that's why we put this stuff in the middle because obviously it's not like beach season yet. So we don't really reach for these. And then this, every once in a while, we will use them, but we keep those there. And then on this very last bottom shelf, uh, we keep all of our bed sheets here's some pillowcases this is my old shower curtain that i think i'm going to declutter because i got a new one but i have that and this is also another shower curtain that my grandmother gave to me before she passed away so i have that in here and next to that is just a couple of other bed sheets that we use. So yeah, that is basically my linen closet. It is nothing exciting. It's really small. What I do like about this storage unit is that these shelves are adjustable. So we were the ones that set it up this way. We have more stuff fill up to the top on here. Like I said, we have more blankets, but we're currently using them right now. More towels, which we're currently using right now. And then these two other sections, that's basically all we have. So I'm gonna put this just back in here for now, and that is it. Just like my linen closet, I've never shown that nor this ever in my videos. And there's a good reason. Um, I also have a small kitchen. There is no pantry in my kitchen. There's no utility closet. There's nothing like that. So that's what this is. And 
I tried my best to organize it as much as I could and right now I would say it's at its best because it used to look way worse than it does right now. So enough talking, let's check it out. So we currently have these two things on the door. This bag right here is one of those inflatable chairs lounge things that we like to use whenever we go to the park or the beach or a music festival that just sits there because we have nowhere else to put it so in this top shelf i actually just thrifted these two baskets from goodwill maybe three weeks ago and i didn't measure them i just bought them because i just love baskets and had my fingers crossed hoping that they would fit somewhere and I had great luck because they both fit perfectly in here so in this basket I have my cleaning supplies in this basket we have trash bags and several other things that we don't access all the time but we need so we put them in this basket and it just looks so much better than before just picture this without baskets it was a mess Oh, before I move on, we actually installed these two shelves when we moved in because, again, we just don't have any other place to put other stuff and we thought putting in shelves was going to be the best thing for us and it's worked out great. But I think we need like another shelf or two down in the bottom because we only put in these two. So this is the second shelf and this one definitely needs a little bit more organizing because I'm pretty happy with this. This, not so much. So I'll kind of walk you through what is in here. So in this first basket, I got these baskets from Target Dollar Spot and I have a cleaning brush, a rag, microfiber cleaning pad, sponges, and other stuff that I use to clean. So I'm actually gonna take the stuff out because I really wanna organize that. Since I'm here, might as well. And in this basket, I have all my cleaning towels, microfiber cloths, and some essential oils. Because I do make my own cleaning supplies, so I also have those in there. We have two things of plant food, some ant spray. I think we can fit this up here in the cleaning basket, so we'll, we'll try that. So this shelf we also put in here. We have all random utility stuff like a drill, some screwdrivers, hammer nails and measuring tape some light bulbs so all that stuff is there so i'm gonna see if i can organize it a little bit better because this is not not okay <laughs> Here's a quick update of how it looks like now after I organized it. So I did find some stuff to declutter. So this is basically everything that I didn't put back in there. This is almost empty so we're gonna finish that. These are some old balloons that we don't need. Empty packaging and this is a heating pad that has seen better days so I think we're going to donate this. So not much of a difference, but still a little bit better organized. I feel like if I had one more basket I could put in there and just put those stuff in there, it would look a lot better, but we're just gonna go with what we have right now, which is just that space. So that's the first two shelves, and then there's no more shelving down below, so that is what that looks like. So I have my reusable duster, my mop, some pantry items, my chips and popcorn. We have our crock pot down there, some supplements for working out, baking soda, dish soap, and coffee stuff. So unfortunately, that's how that looks like. It has bothered me for 
ever, but that's the best we can do. We don't have a pantry. We don't have any other space to put other stuff in. If you guys can let me know what I can do with this, how to better fix this, then please let me know because this needs help. <laughs> What's funny about this is that as much of a minimalist that I am and all the decluttering that I've done, sometimes I really do need more space. And I've talked about this in my videos before where sometimes we think we need more space but decluttering is the solution. You don't need to have more space for your things, you just need to own less. But in my situation, in this case, as you can see right here, I use everything that I have in here. It's just poorly organized because I don't have much storage in this kitchen. So this kind of plays like a catch-all for things that do not belong on the kitchen counter or that just don't have homes anywhere else. But I just think it's funny that like, even after minimalism and decluttering, I still run into issues like this where I'm just like, you know, I wish I had more space or I wish I had more storage and that is definitely the case with this. So this is kind of our own makeshift pantry slash utility room so it's not perfect but that's what works for us in a small apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again please comment below let me know what I can do to that bottom area of this closet because I just have run out of ideas. So. I thought about adding another shelf. I'm not sure if that's going to help or not. So let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already for weekly videos on simple living and decluttering. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.